welcome to my channel. Make sure to subscribe and like. And if you want, join the duck club. We love ducks here. And rainbow and pink. If you know my cats, then you know that they have an tendency to do things that are a little bit weird. If you've watched some of my previous documentaries, then you'll know that my cats like to find places to sit or lay around the house that we call pogs. So, behold. Mabel loves this pog. This was only when some furniture was moved around. Very temporary. See, I told you Mabel loves this pog. Winston sometimes joins her. I'm supposed to eat my dinner on that cushion. I think Winston was a bit high on catnip when he was here. And yep, once again, my dinner cushion gone. Pogs can only be very temporary when, like, once a year they go there, or they can be there every day. Like, as you've probably seen, Mabel, who just loves the computer room sofa. But the cats can do weirder stuff than just that. Oh no! Was he picked it up? He's knocking about. Where is it? Oh my! <laughs> is that a mouse or a rat? Winst! It won't be a rat. Oh, poor mouse. In my last documentary, that was conveniently called Hunter Winston, we showed you some of the things that Winston's been catching. And he's been catching even more. But he started doing something else outside that we like to call the Catty Go Round. Okay, so the Catty Go Round isn't the official name for it. We don't actually have an official name for it. It wasn't even a thing until I just thought, you know what? This has been happening like 20 million bajillion times. And when it happens about 20 million bajillion times, it's become a thing. Now, in order for me to explain to you what this thing is, first I'm going to have to, to show you the basic layout of our close neighbourhood, the first few houses down from us. So, let me do that. So this right here is our house. Not our house as in our house. I mean our house as in me and my family's house. This right here is our garden. Once again, our as in not you who is watching. That would be kind of weird. Well, I say this is our house, but actually this part is our house. Right here. Because down here is our neighbour's house. Now, in order to get to our house, you actually have to pass through the neighbour's house to get to the gate right here, which leads to our house. And in order to get to the gate near our neighbour's house, you have to first pass through this general way, which backs onto our neighbour's house and our other neighbour's house. And then you find yourself with a door here and a door here. This leads to the neighbour's back garden, and this leads to our other neighbour's back garden. You have to go through this house and go around there. Is that complicated? Good. If you want to put this into perspective, the road would be here, the other houses would be here, etc, etc, if you understand what I mean. So, our house has this thing, I don't know if you've ever seen it, where it has this pokey outy window in this kind of shape. You have like, if I can find a picture of it for you, then I'll show you. And the window is basically open, well that's not a shock, because all windows open. But you have these side windows right here that open diagonally. So then you can have this hole to jump through. I hope I'm making sense here. Now, what the cats like to do is I'm going to get a different coloured pen so that I can show you where the cats go. The cats are let out. Well, the cats first start off in our house, obviously, because that's where they live. 
I think that's self-explanatory. And then sometime in the evening, usually about six, maybe five, six, seven o'clock, when we're all sitting down having dinner, well, we all, as in me, my parents eat late, the cats will interfere in our living room time, and they will um, cause a mess. <laughs> they came in, shit up, and went back out. So, eventually they get bored of causing havoc, and they decide to jump up on the windowsill and scratch the blinds, which Daddy absolutely hates. Mr. The situation is now critical. Or whatever, whatever, has to be open and boiled. Mr. <laughs> Why do you hate it when they do that? Daddy? Because we're just playing them bloody things. Eventually my dad gets very annoyed at the cats and he decides to open this window right here and let the cats out onto the pavement. So this would be our front garden right here, which is facing the pavement and the road. So the cats are now on our street. Now what the cats will do is they will spend a bit of time outside, maybe about half an hour, do something, maybe catch some mice. They will then go through the general, over the fence, over another fence. I don't know, maybe they might go through the trees or jump over the gates or something i don't know how they get there but they end up back here then they meow and say they want to come in so we let them back in update it's about five or ten minutes later and just as predicted what winston's back inside and then a few minutes later the cats are like you know what i'm bored of <laughs> i'm bored of being inside He's out again. It is currently ten past eleven at night, and then there's our neighbour. They've calmed it down now, but these past hour they've been doing this really loud full. Mabel is out somewhere there, probably shivering in a bush because she's too scared to come home because of these fireworks. We know that Mabel's going to be all right, but she's probably really scared. They're still at it. Oh, who would even do this? Three minutes past midnight. The fireworks have been stopped for about 15 minutes. And... <laughs> Maves! So the time for cats after a long, noisy evening. Well, that's the end of the cat documentary episode 5. I hope you liked the video, and don't worry about Mabel, she's doing completely fine now. The fireworks have stopped because it's a few days after bonfire night now, which is good. I talked to my friends, and apparently they've had a similar experience with a noisy person down the road doing fireworks at, like, midnight. Please tell me if you've ever had any experiences with this. It's apparently more common than I thought. Well, goodbye.